right guys, so you know how we do. We're out here for another one, and uh, we're out here at Lamborghini uh, uh, Newport. You know what, nah, I'm just kidding. We are out here, uh, we are out here for an awesome Honda day. So, it, I mean, Lamborghini Newport is over there. But uh, we're over here at the, the new Acura dealership that's not even open yet. And uh, we're doing Doghouse's meet out here, which, you guys know doghouse it they always hold the most like awesome incredible honda honda meets so we're up here like like we're gonna at the new acura dealership and they are what's up man how you doing they are parking cars uh everybody's starting to roll in and everything else so i'm gonna run you guys through today we're gonna we're gonna walk and talk these, these side streets where you see me almost getting run over and everything else they're starting to fill up you can see, 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 see. Uh, they're starting to fill up they're starting to row up all the way down like two three more dealerships so we'll walk and talk that we'll go into the main area i'll show you guys what's there and uh today today's going to be a fun day so you guys hang out i hope you all enjoy as always drop those comments let me know what you think uh today today is going to be an incredible honda day so i hope you guys like it and uh come on let's get at it Alright guys, so let's do a little walking and talking. Let me show you. We're going to make the run down here. I'm going to show you guys what uh, what's come out, what's parked out in the street so far. And then uh, we'll work our way in to the rest of the way for what they got inside. Uh, got a couple couple clean EK bodies. Uh, both both kind of half caged out, half gutted. You know, the, the way I always say they're supposed to be. He's got, he's got nice flat door panels um so look like you know he's serious run an ap brakes on it um this one's kind of the same way look absolutely you know no hate for the dirty dirty white te's that just shows you the brake compound he's running and you know how hard he's driving this car so he's got it caged out too uh you know the the half gut the the simple, like the simple looking functional Honda setup. Like that, that right there, you guys know. I'm down for that all day, every day. Um, we're gonna make our way down. I'm gonna try and show you guys as much as I can on the way down without getting run over. Um, so we got a couple, oh, he was nice. He was actually gonna run me over. I was in his driveway. So we got a couple fits over here. Um, you got you got the first gen, the Toro fit, get Jay's racing stuff, everything else. Then you got 
the newer gen with the uh, with the Atashi wrap. Go down with some EM ones down here. Um, I mean, again, look how clean. TEs drop. OEM body, OEM clean. Looks so good. Got the hatch. I need a hatch. I yeah, I definitely need a hatch. Got the got the spoon spoon theme set up on it. Little race bread front lip, vented hood. Still got guys rolling in as you can hear them running by me. What's cool is this uh, the area we're in here is is all dealership. So like everything as you go down is just dealer, dealer, dealer. Um, and this, you know, it's off the main road, so it's not, you know, no normal traffic or anything else. So this area is great. Um, I don't, I don't know how we ended up so lucky that that doghouse was able to get access to a, the Acura dealership before the Acura dealership was even fully open, because this is this is the coolest spot, you know. Um, yeah, AP2 on some on some TEs with stop techs. Uh, of course. You can tell I'm in traffic, so we got a, a Urus going by me and some other stuff. AP1, CEs, run down through. Got a nice Type R uh, Integra just went by me too. So, and these, okay, so, I mean, any, any, any other time for any other Honda meet, seeing all these cars and everything else, we would have been good. You know, this would have, this would have been enough, but, we're going to head inside and I'm going to show you those cars too, because it like they, the cars inside are absolutely incredible. I like the livery on that one. That was pretty cool. Oh, that one sounded good. All right, let's walk down a little further and then uh, we'll cut up, we'll cut in and I'll, I'll show you some cars inside. See if, uh, see if we can get around the music and I can talk with you guys about what we have inside too so uh let's ah man they're playing good music all right let's go up in i'm gonna show you guys what's inside let's cut let's cut across so we don't get run over <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm gonna try and run you around the, the backside over here where there isn't any music. We've got a ton, a ton of really gorgeous NSXs here. Um, you got Kraris, Civic. Um, look at look at the, the EK9, the Coda K, EK9 here. 
full spoon everything. And I mean, this stuff is all just absolute perfection. Um, this, it, there, th this car here is better than it ever would have come off the showroom floor. So paint, carbon, everything else, super, super clean. Uh, really nice two-door uh, DA on some spoons. Um, go down through, bridge seats on a DC5 with RPF01s. Move into the FK8 on some Mugens, and then back into back into what like I I've been telling you guys I, I definitely need to get a uh, get a hatch and and like running down this line you'll see what I mean you get the EK hatch full gut with um, Halo Spar Sparco seat uh, running the TEs <laughs> almost got run over again. All right, and then uh, you get the, the EG next to it. Like I said, EG next to it, and everybody cleared out. <laughs> but yeah, so you got this one uh, with running spoon off the CEs. Look, half gut in the back. This is this is the way you do it. Uh, you know, I I really enjoy you know this look. Um, so. Flip up steering wheel, so you still have access in and out. You got the Recaros, super clean. Uh, simple, but simple in a really good way. Um, running Type R Integra, USDM, on some Mugens. You have uh, Yoich John's Goldie uh, EG, which, is, which has been around, and it's, this is definitely one of those classic cars. Um, and it's, it's just, he, this car gets driven. Look, he's got, let's see if I can get it to focus for you guys. So he's got the, uh, the spare T in the back, JRZ external reservoirs. I mean, so, so clean. Uh, come around, get the, the EF. Dumped out, right-hand drive. I love the styling. So, you guys are definitely gonna have to comment. Make sure when you do, drop that time frame for what your favorite car is because there are so many good cars here. Um, and and we still have we still have cars rolling in. I got a I got a S14. You guys can't see that's super clean. I'm gonna have to try and find that outside. Uh, you got a white NSX on CEs, has the, the, the Type R uh, rear wing and everything look to it. You got the, the Gretti Edition CRX, which out of the CRXs that I come across, besides the, the, the one right-hand drive black one that we always see, this is probably my next favorite. Uh, the Mag Blue TEs, Will Woods, you know, it's got the got the JDM front end with the a little carbon lip. I out of all of it, I probably wouldn't do the carbon lip because I know I would just scrape it and blow it out, and you know it wouldn't work for me. But look how clean the fenders are. Like at first, you don't notice that they're they're actually bumped out and they they're a little wider. It's got the cage welded in with all the little gussets and everything else. I mean, it, it's, it's done super, super clean. That's, that's gonna be one of my favorites. So, for today, they got a ton of NSXs to come out. So, I mean, we'll just run through and see what else we see. Uh, EK9 on Mugens, he's running Will Woods. He's running the Mugen wheels today. He's got a, a handful of different sets of wheels for this car. This car has a lot of little details that either you have to know what you're looking for or just really pay attention. So like he's got the headlight covers. There's, it's, it's done super, super clean. So they did really good about parking 
like the really clean cars up in this area. I mean, look how, look at the interior. The interior again, this is, this is probably, you know, well, it's definitely better than it ever came from the factory. Uh, but yeah, so, so I really like, I really like this one. This one again has a ton of really like special JDM parts and clean details and everything else. Right-hand drive, ITR. It's got the spoon theme going on. Wheels, calipers, red Recaros everybody likes. Sign dash, spoon wheel. Nice, nice and again, for it doesn't need anything more than that. Like, like running that is is perfect. It, now, on the other end of things, when you want when you want more power and you just want to tear everybody up either, you know, uh, well on, on the track, yeah, 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 we'll say on the track. You know, this is this is then the other spectrum. <laughs> and and when you're going to go this route, do it. Like big Vortec charger on it, everything under the hood. I but but what's cool about this and as you guys see is look how clean the actual car is. So, yeah, another, another EF chassis. Again, super, super clean. I hope I'm not, uh, I hope I'm not taking too much time on these cars, but I really wanted to show you guys because they, they really handpicked a ton of good cars to, to put up in this area. Um, running the TEs now little little different little different setup up front not running the spoons he's running Porsche calipers again it's in the details so you gotta you gotta take the time and 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 take a look at them uh, another Coda coatings car uh, Mugens spoons and then what you're gonna see under the hood here is just you know perfection look how clean it is this oh i i you guys can tell i need to i need to get back into a honda because this is this is one of those i need to get into a couple of hondas i think is the better way of putting it because i want one i can run at the track and then one i can i can do as a clean project car uh i i'm i'd never be this clean because this again is just one of those that's to me is you know just pure perfection nice simple exterior uh it's got all the all the extra little spoon goodies all the little all the little parts nice i mean can you ask for anything else on a honda besides you know spoon and mugen stuff uh another nsx on some mugens really clean uh really clean da on some on some again mugens uh, the m7s and then look look at this eg these these are probably arguably the the best and cleanest hondas that you see out here on the west coast i i, I i'm sure i'm sure you guys can can find one here and there but you guys drop your comments let me know um are these are these literally the best um they one of the one of the great things about being here in SoCal is we we get we get these cars and the access to the cars and the cars are so clean. I mean, look at this. Look at like okay, here's here's a prime example. Full Mugen Civic. Um, he's you know he's got the he's got the swap with the ITBs and everything else. Running running JRZs. Like this is this is what I mean. This car here is is perfect perfect look whole mugen front bumper old school mugen wheels spoon calipers he's got the half gut rear caged mugen mugen seats with the Schrath harnesses you know the the standalone dash um this this is this is what i mean you know how how clean and then on top of that, he's got 
he's got the old uh not antique plate but the one of the original one of the original uh uh california plates so it just shows how long the person's had that car uh, all right guys so we're i went inside i was shooting inside for you um i had to come back out and literally walk down to the end of the block because when i first walked in and was showing you guys this this whole area was empty so they filled up this part which i think is just overflow for the other part of the shop i'm not sure but you have like frs uh, a manual turbo supra which is which is dope uh that's that's cool uh and then we've got a whole run of car I, let me show you guys what's here too so fl5 on on like that nardo gray type of te which is which is cool uh the ek all spoon stuff look r33 the uh, the white i don't know I've, I've never been a white car fan but I, you know it's always been black cars or dark cars uh but the white the white looks so good uh you've got the mitsubishi prado or something you guys will you guys will get me on that one uh but right hand drive so that's another that's a ni another fun little jdm car um that's been imported in let's see what else we got on this side you got a nice little 13. uh look fd2 conversion super clean fd2 conversion we saw this one at one of the other meets like the whole like mugen rr setup with the tes on it you got our buddies here coming in looking for some parking still uh like the whole group coming in right now you got the 14. what's up man the four-door and it's set or the s2000 you get the other s2000 look all of them coming in all the homies you got all white cars and one red porsche but you know porsches are supposed to be red so it's all good but they're all coming in i'll have to i'll have to catch back up with them in just a minute so none of this was here before you have a little race prepped miata you know, got to take notes, got to see what Lip has got, RPF 01s, the whole spiel. Got to got to take notes for my stuff. Um, guys are randomly unloading uh, a NASCAR? Like, that is, okay, cool. And then all these cars parked in while I was, while I was inside too. So, Y-Body, S2K, running... What is it like the asm kit maybe i think that's the asm rear on that carbon hard top like a cusco style bolting cage really clean ek get the get the front end get the jdm front bumper it's got like the you know the jdm style fogs mugen wheels License plate says dual overhead cam, e.g. On a really, really clean set. Look, this is like it's like an anonized gold or something. Like it, that's not the normal like color. It looks, it looks cool. Uh, CRX, you guys know I, I need one. Uh, another EF, e.g. with big front mount. Got the TSX, the Euro R setup, white on white. Ah, that looks good. DA. Sorry, I'm trying not to miss any of this stuff for you guys. Look, look. Another EF chassis. Got the AP2 with the CR front lip. Right hand drive ITR. A little race prepped Integra. And then we have a couple others, and they're all stacked in tight. You got the EG, you got the coupe, and then that puts us back, back into the main section over here. Everybody's waiting on food. So it's just crazy. So busy today. So you guys, let me know what you think, as always. Um, you, you know how it goes. Well, if you're new to my channel, I guess you don't know how it goes. Um, but, you know, drop those comments. 
Let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite car was. Timestamp it so we can all we can all look at it. We can all you know agree, disagree. You know have have our favorite. There's so many good cars here today. So you guys, thanks for hanging out to the end. If if something else pops up, you know I, I'll get it on video. We're uh, we're battling some weather. It's trying to rain, but it's still nice. But it wants to rain, but it's kind of chilly. Anyways, today was absolutely incredible. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys drop your comments. Let me know what you think. Um, this is just one of the huge Honda events that was this weekend. Doghouse, I don't know how they locked down a dealership and was able to do this. And I mean, basically, basically took over this entire road, uh, took over this parking lot, took a, awesome. So uh, Doghouse, they did an awesome job today. Um, um, they're coming up with a new open house. I, I can't wait to go. So uh, I'm hoping I'm going to be here when they do their open house. But let's close it out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging out to the end. If you guys are new to my channel, check out what I do. If you like what I do, please hit that like. Hit that, uh, hit that subscribe. Hit that notification. I'm dropping videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, every week. I don't miss. So uh, I'll see you guys at the next one. And uh, that's it. Thanks.